So as you have probably noticed, the last two videos were about hip joints, more or less about hip joints, the connection of course, with the whole body and the pelvis and the legs, but the topic is hip joints. And I wanted to do four videos about it, but now as I'm two videos in, I, I noticed there's something which is a little bit difficult and I want to squeeze in a short lesson, just to clarify something. And in order to get into what I want to talk about, let me show you something on my computer. I have a couple of skeletons on my computer. So this is one of them. It's called Essential Skeleton. It's a free application if you want to try that yourself or have that yourself. It's available for iPhone, iPad, Android and Mac. So you can download it. I will give you the link below. Now, this is a skeleton in the computer and I can rotate the skeleton as you can see so we can look at it from all the sides. Just start looking at it from the front. You see there's an arm, this would be his right arm and this would be his left arm. So we have, can you imagine like two lines. We, if we draw a line through the upper arm and the lower arm is one line and here also upper arm, lower arm is one line and then here we have a leg which is one line down and the other leg which is one line down and then in the middle the, uh, the, it's called backbone but it's the spinal column columna vertebrale is that correct? here we can also imagine is one line. So can you can you see those lines? I hope it's easy to see those five lines. That's the first thing I, I wanted to tell you what we are going to talk about in the lesson. Now let's have a look at the pelvis. Just zoom in a little bit and I can twist it around. Of course it's more interesting if you can twist it around yourself so I recommend you download this app and I want to show you these two areas here. These are called your sit bones, sit bones. This is actually where you would sit. In standing, you stand on your hip joints. These are the hip joints. And down here are the sit bones. So that's a difference. Hip joints and sit bones are not the same. Now, with this skeleton, we cannot see the sitting position. Uh, so now I will load another skeleton and another software. All right, and here we have a sitting skeleton. Ain't that a cute skeleton? Then I zoom in a little bit. And you can see when I zoom in that the skeleton now is sitting on the sit bones, right? So it's not sitting on the hip joints, but it's sitting on the sit bones. Here, it's the sit bones. It's sitting on its sit bones on the box. Very upright, can't be more upright. That's the as upright as a skeleton can sit in it. So when you sit on a chair, you should be sitting on your sit bones, not on your legs, but on your sit bones. Not on your anus or tailbone, but on your sit bone. Of course you can use a backrest, but you're still on your sit bones, right? Okay, let's recap. We have five lines, leg, leg, arm, arm, and the middle of the body. That's five lines. And then we have the sit bones, which are supporting us in sitting and which will push the spine up. And the spine will push down, not on the hip joints, not onto the ass, but onto the sit bones. Sit bones up, spine goes up. And the spine and the head, everything is now now I'm standing. Now it's the hip joints that are bearing my weight. When I'm sitting, it's the sit bones. <laughs> and we will need this in the next lesson.